Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here today and taking some time out of uh, your busy day to uh, celebrate here with us as we uh, hoist the Gadsden flag up our flagpole here in the town of Deer Park. Uh, just as a little background information, town of Deer Park, uh, we are a small residential community of about 8,000 residents and uh, very, very proud Americans and that is why we are here today. I want to welcome um, our Councilman Dave Dean who's here with us today, Orange County Legislator Dennis Simmons, and um, also uh, Ron Tochi who's a former Assemblyman and also a uh, Commissioner of the New York State Department of Veterans Affairs. So thank you for coming up today. I also want to thank the United Veterans Memorial and Patriotic Association of New Rochelle for coming up here today. Thank you for your service to this country. Thank and thank you for coming up here. Thank you. Today is about honoring our veterans and their service to this country. Uh, I was told on Saturday that the city of New Rochelle had voted to remove the Gadsden flag from uh, the armory building in New Rochelle by a vote of five to two. Um, was extremely displeased with this decision uh, due to the fact that I think it is dishonoring our veterans by doing that. So we wanted to make a presentation here today to honor our veterans, to give the Gadsden flag a home here in Deer Park while we fight the battle to get the flag back up in the armory in New Rochelle. All right. All right. So, thank you. This flag has been in existence since the year 1775. It's a historical flag. This flag should not be offending anyone. It represents the great patriots that fought for our rights here in the United States and all of our veterans. We should not be offended at all by this flag. At this time, I'd like to uh, call up to the podium Orange County Legislator Dennis W. Simmons. Thank you, Carl. It's uh, indeed my pleasure to be here today. And uh, just a little bit additional information about the Gadsden flag. It's very appropriate that we're actually standing before the 9-11 uh, memorial that we have here in Deer Park, because the Gadsden flag was not only the original flag for the Continental Navy, but it was also made the official United States Navy Jack on September 11th of 2002, and I find it ironic, ironic that uh, it can be flown in the port on any naval vessel, but it can't be flown on the armory in New Rochelle. It's my pleasure to be here today, to be here and stand here with uh, my fellow veterans. Uh, Dave Dean is also a veteran of the Navy. I'm a veteran, 24 years of both the Army and the uh, Air National Guard, retired two years ago. Very proud of my service. I stand here with each and every one of you, and let me just say that we support you in your cause. Thank you so much for being here today, and uh, I hope New Rochelle reconsiders this and we can get them to uh, fly a historic flag and forget all the political uh, theater. Thank you very much. Next, I'd like to call up Mr. Ron Tochi, former Assemblyman and Commissioner of the New York State Department of Veterans Affairs. Thank you. First of all, <clears throat> we're delighted to be here. Uh, all of us uh, from New Rochelle veterans, and uh, we are uh, particularly proud and pleased to be representing all the good people and the patriots from uh, our area. Uh, we want to thank your community uh, for giving us a history lesson. Uh, a lot of people did not know that uh, Huguenot existed and the affinity between uh, Huguenot Deer Park and uh, the Huguenots in New Rochelle, uh, they actually founded our community. So uh, everybody's learning about American history at the same time, and especially about the history of the flag. Uh, we, we believe that uh, we were uh, truly uh, wronged, uh, the veterans and all the good people who believe in uh, the heritage of uh, this country and, and of the veterans, and we were trying to honor uh, that heritage and uh, for whatever reason, uh, they were, uh, we were denied. So we uh, were just delighted when we heard about uh, uh, Supervisor Carl talking uh, about how uh, he was offended. And here's a community that's a couple of hundred miles away, and yet they're very, very much aware and very passionate, as we are, about doing the right thing. And that is uh, to honor the heritage and 
especially to uh, make sure we haven't forgotten those that have sacrificed and uh, given uh, so much to this country to make it what it is. And this is a classic example of uh, what American uh, democracy is all about. So we, uh, again, on behalf of all the great people in our city, are very, very proud and pleased to present uh, this flag to be flown over your uh, townhouse and uh, your community in honoring all the good people of this great country and especially of those uh, that served and were inducted in service through uh, that particular armory in New Rochelle. Um, you know, it's interesting, uh, the display here that shows the 9-11 uh, memorial, uh, the, uh, mo the memorial in New Rochelle, uh, which we are trying to create, uh, that armory was used as a depot center and gathered all the uh, equipment and supplies from all around north of New York and it was a depot where we brought down all the equipment and all the, uh, the good things that uh, they used in New York when that whole tragedy occurred. So there's really a natural, a natural affinity here and uh, we are brothers and sisters so with that we want to thank you again and as I suggested on behalf of all the good people, uh, we want to extend uh, our best wishes. God bless you, and we thank you so much. Dean, want to say a couple words? Very pleased to see so many veterans and, uh, and fellow citizens here today. I welcome you to the town of Deer Park. We're free men and women here. We believe in the sanctity of this flag. And it's a shame that it was stricken from the uh, town of New Rochelle Armory. Uh, I'm sure that after a certain amount of publicity, they're going to rethink their decision on this. I welcome you here. It's a beautiful day. God's shining down on us today. We raise this flag with pride. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank you. I want to thank everybody for coming out. This is a very special ceremony. And I'm, I'm looking around, I see World War II veterans, Vietnam veterans, Korean War veterans, um, the Desert Storm. Uh, I mean, it's just fantastic to see all of you out here. And thank you so much for your service to this country. Uh, my grandparents and parents uh, lived through Nazism and communism in the eastern part of uh, Europe. They came here uh, to provide a better life for me. I was the first born in America. Uh, my father is a veteran of the United States Navy as well, and uh, I have the greatest respect for all of you. Thank you very much for your service and for protecting my rights as an American citizen. So thank you.
What uh, was the reason that you decided to raise the flag today? Well, one of the things that we were looking at was um, we felt it was very disrespectful for the city council in New Rochelle to lower that flag from the armory building. Um, it was disrespectful to the, re to the veterans that have served our country faithfully and have protected our freedoms. So we wanted to show our support to them by uh, raising the flag here in Deer Park and encouraging the city council in New Rochelle to reconsider their vote and change their vote to raise the flag back at the armory building. Now, uh, what message would you have for other communities around the country that also support raising the flag back up to where it was above the armory? I would encourage all communities out there to raise this flag. It's a historic flag um, that represents uh, the fine uh, veterans of our military going back to the Revolutionary War. Um, it's not offensive. It's not an offensive flag or a political flag. This is a flag that represents the history of our nation and people should be proud of it. Uh, town of Deer Park is uh, the second largest town area-wise in Orange County, New York. Uh, we have about seven to 8,000 residents, according to the last census, about seven hamlets. One of the hamlets is uh, the hamlet of Huguenot, and what kind of hooks us with the city of New Rochelle is that the Huguenots, uh, who were uh, uh, former Frenchmen that came from France to uh, seek religious freedom, uh, they founded the city of New Rochelle, and uh, also those same group of people came up here to um, establish Huguenot in uh, the late 1700s. So uh, historically, it gives us a little bit of a connection uh, between New Rochelle and the town of Deer Park. And we're uh, proud to be a sister city slash town, and we look forward to the day where this flag is raised at the Armory Building again. Um, we'll be down there, and we'll be supporting our veterans always. So the town of uh Deer Park has raised the Gadsden flag uh, uh, in uh, really defiance of the New Rochelle City Council. How does that make you feel as a New Rochellian? Oh, we're, we're delighted that there's a community with the same patriotic spirit as the veterans have shown in New Rochelle that found out uh, through newscasts that um, you know they're d denying us the right to express our uh, First Amendment and uh, honor veterans and uh, the heritage of this great country and particularly our community. And uh, here they are, uh, this little community in Deer Park, New York, uh, decided that uh, they're going to show themselves uh, how patriotic they are and support us. So uh, we just thanked them and uh, we brought a flag and they allowed us to uh, join in the raising of the flag, which we know will stand. And uh, here in New Rochelle, uh, we have to fight to see if we can raise the flag again. Now we're in the hamlet of Huguenot, New York. Uh, were you familiar with Huguenot before, and what do you think about his connection this, this to New is, Rochelle? This is a great uh, American history uh, lesson, and uh, people are becoming educated that uh, there's a natural affinity between Huguenot, New York, and New Rochelle, New York, which is founded by the Huguenots. So we have a lot in common, but uh, probably the most um, uh, dramatic is the fact that these people are just as patriotic and passionate as we are about honoring the national uh, heritage of this great country and this flag, the Gaston flag, is now being educated, uh, be, people are educated now to the fact that it was uh, probably the first flag that uh, General Washington's army fought under. Now uh, the Huguenots came uh, to America because of uh, religious persecution in France so do you see any irony that the town and city founded by the Huguenots is now a source of this uh, yeah, well, political you controversy? Draw, you, you can draw all kind of analogies, and uh, certainly they all have merit. Uh, I think the bottom line is the fact that uh, uh, for anybody to try to make this political, when in fact all it is is uh, our right to display and show our uh, national pride and, uh, and learn about history, and sacrifice of uh, people who founded our nation uh, shouldn't have been an issue as it is now. And uh, the fact is that the uh, United Veterans in New Rochelle are charged with the responsibility of providing all kinds of services and uh, to show and honor support of memorials and veterans on special occasions. They've been chartered to do that. Precedent shows that the city has never injected themselves into what would be appropriate and all of a sudden, for the first time now, uh, they're trying to take that uh, charge away from us. If that be the case, then they should establish a policy and say, we don't want you people to do this for us anymore. But uh, I would suggest that uh, they should review this. They're wrong, and they know they're wrong, and that flag should be flying behind you.
Uh, we'll take a shot of that. That's good on you, bro.